Hi friends golfers, Eric Shore, EGS Golf, EGSGolf.com. So I feel like there's a couple big topics going on around golf right now. One of them is the tee shot, like getting longer and how much does that help you? Um, you know, if we can hit it 10 yards off the tee, do we gain much from it? The answer is not much, okay? So there has to be a pretty good disparity between which if you're hitting in the rough, depending what the penalty is, yeah. I mean, I'm in Arizona here. There's basically no penalty for for, for being in the rough. Most of the places I play. Um, but if there are, that's quite a bit of a penalty that doesn't get warranted by a 10 yard longer shot. You almost need like a 40 yard longer shot to make up for it. Okay. So, um, yes, any distance is good, and this is where I think everybody can learn something from. So growing up, we used to see that people would lay up to their favorite yardages. So you're, I don't know, you have water in front, so you have a chance to get to say 100 or 150 or whatever. Get as close as you can, okay? So if you have the option to get to 80 yards, get to 80. Don't go to 130, okay? The stats just prove no matter what, over time, you're gonna get better. You're gonna get in that hole quicker from 80 than you would from 130 any day, okay? Now, maybe I shouldn't have said any day because averages may not work out like that one day for you, okay? It'd be hard to tell, wouldn't it, right? You won't do both, but over time, we know that that's the case. Um, with doing it. So I would take that into play. I would also take into play that, yes, we do want to hit the ball long as we, if we can, but keep in mind, none of this has ever been said to do around hazards or to put yourself in trouble. Okay, it, it's never been set, meant to be that. Okay, so if you have a choice, and I think this is right here about the most. Okay, I'll hear somebody goes, I'm gonna hit a three wood for safety instead of my driver. Now, the driver wouldn't put them in trouble, okay, at all. Okay, if they hit it okay. So the statistics prove that this you're gonna lose probably 20 yards going with your three wood. This, now this is for most people, right? Some of you will say, oh, I hit my three wood longer. Okay, well, go get help with your driver so you can get that extra gain. But for the most of the people that are hitting their driver 20, 25 yards longer, that's more advantageous than playing it safe, hitting with your three wood, because we know for a fact now, there's only a 1% difference in your dispersion ratio. That means left to right between your three wood and driver. Okay, so as much as you think you're better with one of them, you're really not, okay? So it, are there anomalies to this? And can you guys, some of you write to me in the bottom and say, and say I'm full of it? Sure, you can. But when you look at Arco's data, which is millions and millions of shots, the stats prove this fact, okay? So use the data for you as a tool to get better at golf. Um, don't just focus on that one factor of driving distance and let everything go beyond that because there's other ways like I said you can use this data to get better and the other the biggest one I said is lane up get as close as you can always no matter what and and that includes if you're you know let's say you're can't reach the green from 220 okay hit what's gonna get you 10 yards away I'd rather be 10 yards away than 60 okay if you for some reason like your 60 degree wedge better than chipping well then learn to chip because you're, you're gonna get down quicker or learn to putt from that far away okay so that that is really what all that has ever been meant to be I, I think there's been so much misconstrued about it of from the amateur level because here's the here's the facts okay men average <laughs> I hate saying this because people think it's untrue but it is about 220 yards carry off the tee okay what do the guys on the tour average on the tee? 297, about 299 now, okay? So yes, there's gonna be somebody out there who says, I don't, I average 280 or I average 320 every time. Yes, you do, okay? So you're not part of that stat, okay? There, that also means there's somebody on that stat that's doing 120 miles, 120 yards too. So it, it pretty much all e equals out, okay? So in order to get that benefit off the tee, the guy that does hit it 290, Okay, he's the one that's going to benefit from leaving his five wood or two iron in the bag and saying, okay, I'm play for safety with my five iron and go 220 instead of blowing his three wood 300 down there or 320. And 
thing he's going safe, that's where the huge, huge benefit's gonna be is for that guy, okay? And remember, that doesn't mean if there's water left and you've been hooking it all day and you're scared of the water on the left and you know you're gonna hook your driver to use your driver. Pull your five iron out, okay? Okay, we don't, we don't, we use it. Number one goal is to get the lowest score we can, not to blow it in the water. So we have to use some common sense with this as well. Okay, but when you do know the numbers and the data, then a lot of it starts to make sense for your game, okay? And you'll be able to break that down, okay? So, hey, thanks for watching. Ask me, ask me anything you want in there um, about any of the data. I can help you through it, um, help you walk me through it. Yours is different for some reason. Okay, fine, let me help you with it. I'll tell you what you should do. Uh, Eric Schulberg, EJSGolf, EJSGolf.com. Thanks.